961, 962. Reed Detmers and the Angels, plus 155. David, Festa, Fiesta, Forever, and the Twins at minus 175. Total of eight with some juice to the over at minus 115. All right, B-Dub, you must be all over the eight. These are your two favorite teams, the Angels and the Twins. Which one are you back in on this one? Yeah, I do. I grew up in a huge Angels yeah. fan, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with that. And I just haven't really talked about them much this year because they've been really poor. And you start off with a with an offense today. I've got ranked 29th. And you look at their bullpen. They're, they, they've moved up. They were 30th for a while, even worse than the White Sox. But now they're 27th in baseball. Uh, you know, I don't mind Detmers. Detmers, to me, is is was one of those guys where I think he lost it. And now he's gotten it back, which is always a good thing if, if, mm-hmm. you're, if you're a starting pitcher. Uh, and, and good in other things in life as well. Uh, but w- <laughs> w- he, he, went, he went down he went okay. down to the minors, and so he's pitched pretty good. So I'm a little concerned about that. But I, this floored me, Kyle. This, this David Festa, I mean, Festa forever today. He's, mm-hmm. seven, he's 17th in baseball. Uh, by my ratings, and I thought, gosh, I've really got to look at the numbers there. You know, maybe I did a bad JSON poll somewhere uh, in, in the, on the back end of my 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 programming. But I look, I'm looking at this. You're looking the the best strikeout percentage on the board is Rodon. The next best is Skeens, and then the next best best is David Festa. So wow, I, I, yeah, and so. What what's surprising is this Minnesota Twins offense is banged up. Uh, I don't really have them highly rated. Right about middle of the pack, 17th. I do like their bullpen. Uh, I've liked them better uh, over the course of the season, but they're still 11th in baseball. Uh, the model suggests minus 189 for the full game. I think it's a little bit better from a situational standpoint. Uh, they, I mean, you talk about you hate to say must win. Uh, if they must, what that the, the whole thought is, if they must win, they must not be a very good team. You know, we've heard people mm. say that over the years, but uh, I'm going to put them in base winner parlay, a full game here, Kyle. Uh, I'm going to go first five Pittsburgh, and then I'm going to go with Minnesota. And if you get that game, it's going to pay. Let's see, how much is it going to pay? One plus plus one twenty. Can I get plus one twenty today? Ugh, I'm looking at plus one sixteen. Uh, All right, that's, close. that's close. Yeah, the I mean, base winner yeah, parlay here. Uh, Kenny, what do you think about this one? Detmers versus Festa. Uh, Angels double result price for those of you wondering is plus two eighty. And I just so think about that. Royals at plus two seventy or Angels at plus two eighty. What do you think there, Kenny? Uh, I, I hear the point you're making. I, I get it. I thought that I thought this was <laughs> going to be a little better. If this got the three to one, I was gonna I was gonna maybe lie better for a half unit. But I, I think I do like the Angels here. It, it's close. Um, but this is this is the definition of a, of a must must win for Twins. Uh, I believe they've lost five of their last six. And we talked about these these sneaky sneaky Detroit Tigers on the show last week. They are three and a half games out. As are the as are the Mariners. Mariners are also three and a half games out. Um, both both teams moving in the right direction, and the Twins are moving in the wrong direction. Um, I love both these pitches. I'm a big Festa guy. I was on him. I think one of the, one of his first starts this year. I'm also a big Detmers guy. I thought about just doing like a Detmers Festa six Ks each. Like I do think this could be a bit of a uh, bit of a pitcher's duel out here. But gun to my head, man, I, I think I would I think I would lean the Angels. Their season's over. They're playing with house money. They're simply just playing spoiler at this point. And I'm telling you now, this is a nervous Minnesota Twins team that is losing games at a time that they can't afford to lose them. So I, I think the Angels are live tonight. Angels are live. I kind of agree. Uh, but I do love that I'm getting the Royals 10 cents cheaper than the Angels. I just think that's an exponentially better baseball team. So, uh, And I know they're playing the Yankees and the Twins, yada, yada, yada. But for purposes of the show, we're locking in the Twins full game as the second leg of the base winner parlay along with the Pirates' first five. And that's sitting at plus one. 116.